Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan. The UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is much better than this young man and now healthy. He is ready to prove that he's not just the best welterweight in the world at present, he is the greatest welterweight of all time, winning this fight tonight against a significant challenger would certainly go a long way to proving just that. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, presenting the challenger, Haymaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready? I'm very ready? excited. Fight. All right, here we go. Will we crown the new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Connects there. Nurmagomedov gets hit with that overhand. That was a big shot, Joe. Just missed with the straight left hand. Lands the inside leg. Nice 
nice job to avoid the clinch. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, lands that punch. Big shot from the bottom. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Moves to north south. Inside control. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Now closes the distance. Tosses him through the air. Beautiful judo throw. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. He's back up to his feet. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Out about it, Joe. Oh, how many more hammer fish can he take? Into side control again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the dead ups. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, that hammer fist attempt defended well. It's blocked. Tags him. Excellent posture here. He's got full, oh, nope, half guard. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Now he's in full guard. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Big punch from the bottom. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Wow! Oh, he might be out. Nice liver shot, Lawrence. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. In a wild round one. Excellent movement here on the ground. Good control here. 45 seconds remain in the round. He postures into place. Oh, Nasty elbow. elbow lands to the head. Full guard. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there too. Seconds remain in the round. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Final seconds. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Half guard here. Round two next. All right, there's the horn. Huge knockdown for him in that round. Outstanding round from Nurmago Meta. That was a huge moment in that round and a huge moment in this fight. Let's take a look at that again. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. 
Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him? How about that chin? That one hurt. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Good control, posture's up. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, he postures up again and delivers another big ground and pound strike. Beautiful sequence there by Nermago Meta. Excellent punch in the full guard here. And the Kimura attempt here. Got the double wrist lock position. From there, he's gonna rotate his body, put his leg across the back, and then put his other leg on the back of the neck. Lifts that wrist up and towards his opponent's back. Stunning. And there it is! Stunning, and he really made it look easy. He was forced to tap. He got locked into that submission, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, Joe, we know you can appreciate that high-level jiu-jitsu there, executes the submission there, and a nice job, too, in transition to make sure that he was patient enough to set it up effectively, and the end of the fight came shortly thereafter. High-level stuff. And here's the end. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title, it's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 12 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib Hakimola. So, on the strength of a win by submission here tonight, he remains the UFC's undisputed welterweight champion and. Not sure if he's brought to tears here in the corner, Joe, but they are celebrating and embracing. This was a tough fight for them. It was a difficult training camp, a most worthy number one contender, and finally...